Thomas Ryan, the co-author and the co-founder of HKXL and High School Media. It's been a while since we last published the High School Media video. But today I want to talk about a strategy, an exam-taking strategy that has helped me to achieve at least a grade of improvement in math at higher level. Okay, so the strategy is called the lowest hanging fruit principle. It's actually a theory uh, from economics, and the theory states that in a, given lim in a given amount of time that is limited, in order to maximize your outcome and maximize your results, the way you should do it is you should do the easiest thing first at any moment in time. Okay, so in other words, you're picking the lowest hanging fruit at any given time. Okay, so the, re the logic behind this theory is that if at any given time you're maximizing your outcome by doing the easiest thing, then when you when you spread that out uh, across time, you'll basically achieve the highest amount of outcome, right? So how does that apply to a test-taking situation? Most students, I think the most common strategy is to flip for an exam, um, maybe try the first question, maybe for one minute. If, you sh if you're stuck for one minute, then you skip to the next question, and you do that again. If you're, skip and if you're stuck for a minute, then you skip to the next problem. That's a very common test-taking strategy. But I suggest you to do something different next time. Okay, so once you open your math test, just flip through it very, very quickly and find the easiest question there is immediately. Don't waste time. Just find the easiest question. Do that easy question that you're certain about. Then flip through your test again and find the second easiest question. Okay, I'm sure in the math test, if you study, there should be at least 60 to 70% of questions that you feel very, very sure about from doing uh, your studying. Okay, so keep finding the easy question. There are two main benefits. As I mentioned just now, it will maximize your outcome. Okay, because at any given time, you are doing the easiest thing. Okay, and secondly, a more subtle reason, a more subtle benefit to this strategy is that by doing the easiest problem first, you gain tremendous confidence. And that confidence will give you the composure and the level-headedness to really tackle the harder questions. And it will maximize, it will improve your scores when you do the harder questions as well. Okay, so next time in your exam, I highly recommend you to use this strategy. It's going to boost your grade up by at least a level. Okay, so I hope to see you guys soon and talk to you next time.